Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we are going to be discussing how to care for a malignant wound, so a cancerous lesion that has now opened up. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So what is a malignant wound? So a malignant wound is a break in the skin that may be caused from either skin cancer, um, a tumor that does grow up and through the skin, um, cancerous cells that were left behind after surgery to remove cancerous tissue, um, or conversion. So a wound that has um, been open for more than 20 years and has converted into cancer. So what does a malignant wound look like? So they normally start out as small painless lumps. They can be a variety of colors though. So pink, red, violet, blue, brown, black, um, but it can also be just your normal skin color. And it will get bigger though, okay? So it does start getting bigger and starts messing with your blood and lymphatic vessels. Um, so they can, when they start actually forming a wound, it will almost look like either a crater or it could start looking like a fungus or almost like a, caulif a cauliflower. Um, so this is called a fungating um, wound, okay? So a lot of times, a fungating wounds, they do happen on your head, face, neck, breast, um, underneath the armpit, or the groin to peritoneal area is where you will get those fungating tumors. Um, other, you can get it other places, but a lot of times you, it's more the crater um, like openings. So what is the treatment for malignant wounds? So really it depends on the, the type and the location. So what type of cancer, where the tumor is, the tissues involved, is this the primary cancer site or has it moved to another site, okay? So um, the following may be options for treatment of the wound. So surgery, chemo, radiation or hormone therapy, okay? So that might be ways to treat the malignant wound, but there are times where we cannot treat it, okay? So in that case, we have to treat the symptoms. So the pain, the odor, the drainage, um, and other symptoms, okay? So I'll get into those within the next few slides here. Okay, so treating symptoms. The first one we're going to be going over is pain. Okay. So malignant wound pain, it can be caused from either the tumor pressing on either a nerve. Um, so it can also cause damage to the nerve endings. So um, it can also be caused by infection or the swelling or even the dressing change. So we have to be super careful of what types of dressings we're putting on these wounds. Um, so, that, so that they're not sticking to them and not causing any discomfort. Um, so there are other ways to manage. Um, so there are ways to manage the pain. So through medication, um, different dressings. So some dressings either nonstick or they have um, pain associated medication right in the dressings. Um, electrical stimulation therapy or even things like yoga, acupuncture and massage can be helpful. And um, so some following tips to manage wound pain. So you're going to protect the wound from any injury, okay? From any knocks, um, any, any pressure, we want to protect that area because it will get larger quite quickly. So we want to prevent that. Um, we want to take all of our medications. So pain medications and antibiotics. If your doctor has ordered an antibiotic for your wound, please, 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 make sure that you take all your antibiotics. Um, even if you think, oh, the infection's gone, I don't need to finish this, you do need to finish it. Um, sometimes it's not what we can see, it's on the inside, it is clearing up, but please finish all your antibiotics so we don't um, 
have have bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. So next we're going to discuss the odor. Okay, malignant wounds a lot of times have very strong odors. Um, now this can be due to the dead tissue, bacteria, stale drainage. Um, so if you have this, just make sure that you are letting your healthcare professional know, because honestly, you're going to notice it before they're going to notice it. You're the one that has to sit there with the wound all the time. And sometimes it'll just start like you just get a faint odorous smell. Um, so especially in these times, a lot of times we're wearing masks. So we want to make sure that you're telling us right away. Okay. Um, if you are noticing that smell, so it can be due to like dead tissue. So we can remove dead tissue to help with the odor. Um, we can try charcoal dressings. We can put kitty litter under a bed or the location where you sit. This really helps absorb any, any smells. Um, scented candles, changing the dressing more frequently, using different dressings, such as charcoal, um, and removing the dressing right away, putting it into an outdoor garbage. So a lot of times with malignant wounds, we will have a lot of drainage, okay? So um, not only will it maybe be smelly, but it can produce up to almost a liter of fluid a day coming out of that wound. So we want to be using dressings that are super absorbent, okay? We might need to change them more frequently. Um, using an antiseptic or antimicrobial dressing, this can sometimes reduce the amount of drainage. And we can also pouch the wound. So almost like a ostomy pouch um, to collect the wounds, uh, the wound drainage. Okay, so next is bleeding from the wound. Um, so small amounts of bleeding is okay because when we start getting this crater-like um, wound, sometimes we do have bleeding. Now, if we have a sudden increase in bleeding, we want to make sure that we get a hold of our um, healthcare professional right away. Um, or if there is kind of, it, it's kind of suspected that you're going to have a larger bleed, um, sometimes they can get these uh, kits in the home um, just in case you have a bleed, okay? Um, so once again, if you are noticing frequent bleeding or um, the crater is getting larger where you could have a uh, substantial bleed, you want to talk to your healthcare professional about this so you can learn what to do um, in emergency situations like this. So that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope it did help you better understand malignant wounds and how we um, do treat them. Um, but like I said, that's all I have for this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye for now.